Well, then in 1994, Nicole decided to move out of that house and move into the Bundy townhouse. Correct. Why did she move out of that house? I think it was rent related. I think the price it wasn't it wasn't owned by OJ or her. It was a rent. It was a rent, and I think it went so sky high. And I don't know what she made on alimony. So either it wasn't enough to cover it. I don't know if the alimony was uh, reduced or I, I have no idea. But it was I know financial that she had to move into a, a townhouse. Okay, was Nicole working at all? Or was she making basically surviving off of the alimony yeah. and, and child she, support? I, she did not have a job. She didn't have a job at all. How would she spend her days? Um, she went with girlfriends, cough, jogging, a workout. Uh, a lot of times family members would come by. She'd go there to Laguna or Dana mm-hmm. Point. And um, I, I don't know if she was had a, a side job or not, but I don't think so. I don't think she had a job. Okay. Well, I mean, she she dated Grant Kramer at one point. Was she dating other men? Were other men coming by the house or anything of no, that sort? No. I mean, she had she had uh, if she had a male friend, they'd be a, at a large party where everybody knew her. But okay. uh, no, I, she she really didn't. When I was there, it wasn't too much dating. Got it. I think she was just a house uh, house mom. Yeah, always taking care of the kids. Okay, so Nicole moves out of the house that you're living in. You know. And she moves into a townhouse on Bundy Street. Correct. Now, that house did not have a guest house. It was like a duplex, right? It was right. like one house with two people living side by side, essentially. Yeah. It was, and she owned one of the townhomes. Yeah. And uh, I went, I was at inside the house when uh, she said, you got to see what I bought. So I went and I saw it. And then she said, there's a room. If you want this room, it'll be yours. And I just, I, I didn't feel comfortable. And, uh, and I was invited to live there. And I just didn't feel right about it. And um, th- that's when OJ had said, till you find a place you can live in one of the bungalows. So I don't know if he didn't feel me comfortable also living there, but I, from, I did not feel comfortable mm-hmm. to move into a, into a house that's in the same, under the same roof. Okay. And the house in Rockingham in Brentwood had, what, three or four three guest bungal- houses? Three, the uh, yeah, there are three bungalows. Not connected to those, they're on the side yeah. of uh, the, uh, his property. And his daughter, Arnell, lived in one of them. Correct. Anyone else live in the third or fourth one? No. Uh, maybe at times there were, but uh, at that time it was just myself and Arnell. Okay. So you move in to OJ's guest house. Mm-hmm. How's Nicole with this? Uh, from her friends and that, she was pissed off. Really? Yeah, she said, this man manipulated you. And I didn't feel it. I just didn't feel right with me going uh, in staying on the same roof. And at the time I'm looking for places. Uh, and this is the part that no, one, I, I really was sincerely was looking for places to live. I stayed at OJ's for six months and um, uh, I found a place on San Vicente in May, at the end of May hmm. and uh, was going to move in. So I, I mean, I know everything's hindsight, but that's the, that's the God's honest truth. Right. Well, you were paying $500 a month to Nicole, but when you moved to OJ's, it was free. Free, offered, never once accepted anything. Said, I don't need your money. And he would say that. I said, it's kind of cool. And uh, I, that's, you know, uh, I know that's where you get the, the term people coming up with their terms of who Cato is. I mean, because no one knew who Cato was. He immediately, uh, uh, immediate turned me over to becoming a, a, from a celebrity to a freeloader, to a pariah, to an assassin's target. Yeah. I had no chance. So the court of public opinion on that was already made. Okay, so now you're living in the back of OJ's house. Correct. Now, I guess occasionally you would help pick up the kids, but not that often, right? No, not not yeah. like how it was with Nicole. No, no. And like, I, I was never, if they asked me to do something, if I was available, I would do it. I was not a, uh, I wasn't hired by them or anything, but I was always there to help. Okay, now OJ had a maid named Michelle who did not like you. I thought she, she didn't like me. <laughs> She, I, I, I maybe, uh, may, I don't know if she liked me or not. I thought she did like me. Wasn't there a situation where she was trying to get you out of there and OJ oh, that, said, oh no, I make the decisions that the oh, maid's not going to tell well, me. Okay. Getting that. Yeah. I, that's was why I was looking for places. She was sort of the push for me to keep looking for places, but I, I did not feel like, uh, I did not hate her. So I, it's hard to say that, but she was never like, really like mean, get out of here. She was like, "You find a place yet?" She would do that, hmm. and uh, I would make my own bed. I, mean, I don't know if it was a problem for her to clean the. I wasn't, you know, a slob, but I I think she probably 
wanted me out. I, I think she was quite possessive. Okay. Was there a situation between Nicole and the maid where there was a rumor that Nicole slapped her or something like that? Or I, I heard there was something up that, Mich- that Michelle did not like Nicole at all. I didn't see anything of like that, but I think what you're saying, if there was a story that came out, that could be true. Okay. Look, I, I don't I don't personally know or see it, but I remember there was some uh, friction between those two. 